Welcome to a musical journey, uh, our St. Patrick's Day celebrations. We've got four episodes because, you know, me and our, a proud Irishman, I thought it was time that we uh, paid tribute to the great music that comes from this country. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to move along with our first episode celebrating St. Patrick's Day. A song number one is a traditional old Irish song, uh, very close to my heart, being a Dublin man. Um, it's the official anthem of My, my Fair City. Just giving you a clue to the name of the song. Uh, 13th of June, every year, is celebrated as Molly Malone Day. Um, there's a statue of her in Suffolk Street. It used to be in Grafton Street before the, the Lewis came along. Um, it's associated with a 17th century woman. Now, nobody knows whether that's true or not. And uh, the weird thing about this song is it's actually been recorded in French, Dutch, and even Russian. Uh, this is song number one. This is Molly Malone. Mattel was working on a building site in London and the title of the song is in response to Mattel uh, asking one of his workmates, saying to his workmate that it must be strange to be uh, in London far away from the place that you, you come from and the response from his workmate who was from Clare was it's a long way from Clare to here and this is from Clare to here by Ralph Mac. Oh, it's a long 
song that um, has, has great uh, links to the Easter uprising in 1916 and it's a song about the execution of Joseph Mary Plunkett after the uprising. Uh, this is a beautiful song called Grace. This is song three. <laughs> Just hold me in your arms and 
share our love For we must say goodbye And as the dawn is breaking My heart is breaking too On this May morn as I walk down My thoughts will be of you And I write some words Sorry, nine weeks in 1990. Um, it's one of the best-selling singles of all time in Ireland. Um, the chorus of the song was taken from Davy Carton's first band, uh, Blade X. It was from one of their songs, and often with the with this song, the B side of this song is actually the B, the Blade X version. Uh, this song is called "I Used to Love Her." by the Saw Doctors. I have fallen for another she can make her own way home And even if she asked me now I'd let her go alone But I used to see her Chapel, she went to Sunday Mass. And when she go up to receive, I kneel down there and watch her pass. The glory of her ass. I used to love her, I used to love her once. A long, long time ago, I used to love her, I used to love her once. A long, long time ago, it's gone. For concern on Christmas Eve. But she was on her 48 hour fast, was water and black tea. I walked straight up and made an ostentatious contribution. I winked at her to tell her I'd seduce her in the future. But she's feeling looser. I used to love her, and I used to love her once. A long, long time ago, I used to love her. She's no longer my obsession And to the thoughts and dreams I have a horror What says what's in confession See I met the show on Thursday night And she's into free expression Our mission is to rid the world Of this sinful repression Then we had a session I used to love her I used to love her once A long, long time ago I used to love her to love her once, a long, long time ago, it's gone. All my loving is gone. Oh, 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 it's gone. All my loving is gone. Well, it's gone, 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 gone. All my loving is gone, 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 gone. All my loving is gone, gone, 
Song 5 on our list today uh, was released in September 1994. Uh, number 1 in Australia, Germany and France. It was voted best song at the 1995 MTV Music Europe uh, Music Awards. Um, it's been it was played an awful lot after the, the games at the, at the Rugby World Cup there in, in France in 2023. And this song only reached number 3 in Ireland. This is a cracker. This is Zombie by the Cranberries. Song 6 is originally a country song written by uh, Paul Overstreet and Dan Schlitz. Uh, it's been a hit for four different artists through the years. 
Um, Irish artist Frances Black had a hit in 1996 with it. Uh, that was her third top 10 single at the time. Ronan Keaton had a hit with this song in 1999. Uh, it was his first solo single after leaving Boyzone. Um, it was number one in Ireland and in New Zealand. And it also came from the movie Notting Hill. This is called When You Say Nothing At All by Ronan Keaton. Song 7, what a song, Anthem, <clears throat> opening track on the War Album, 
uh, hit number seven in the US as a single. It's ranked 265th in the Rolling Stones' top 500 songs of all time. Uh, just a curious thing about the song, there's a lot of religious text from the Bible in, in different stanzas in the song. And uh, the song actually contains an electric violin where the guy who played it approached you two and said, I, I want to play on, your, on one of your songs. And they, they let him play on this one. This is a great song, this is called Sunday Bloody Sunday by U2.
Song 8. Uh, one of the founder members of Planksty, who went solo. Very famous uh, Irish singer by the name of Christy Moore. This is one of my favourite songs. It's a beautiful song. This is called Nancy Spain. Song 9, written by Phil Coulter about his hometown of Derry. Um, Luke Kelly and Paddy Riley have done great versions of this song. The Dubliners released it in 1973. Uh, this is a great song called The Town I Love So Well by Phil Coulter.
in my memory I will always see the town that I have loved so well where our school played ball by the gas yard wall and we laughed through the smoke and the smell going home in the rain running up the dark lane past the jail and down behind the fountain those were happy days in so many many ways in the town I love so well in the early morning the short factory horn called wind from Craigan the moor and the bog while the men on the dome played a the children and then walk the dog and when times got tough there was just about enough and they saw it through without complaining for deep inside was a burning pride in the town I love so well. There was music there in the dairy air, like a language that we could all understand. I remember the day when I earned my first pay and I played in a small pickup band. There I spent my youth and to tell you the truth I was sad Song 10, nobody really knows where this song came from. Um, there's been reports of this song being sang in traditional, like going back hundreds of years um, in Ireland, Australia, England and the US. Um, the Dubliners released a version of this song in 1967 
and it hit number four on the Irish charts. Uh, this song has also been used in the BBC's TV show, The Peaky Blinders. Like the hat. Uh, this song is called Black Velvet Band by the Dubliners. going to finish off this episode um, it's probably an apt song considering the world we're living in um, it was released in 1993 from the album Goodbye Charlie Moonhead it was actually the most played song on Irish radio in 1993 um, it reached number four in the Irish charts which is hard to believe and it won Song of the Year in the 1993 Hot Press Awards. Hot Press is an Irish music magazine, by the way, just in case you don't know. And this song is Crazy World by Aslan.
So that's the end of the first uh, episode of the, our Paddy's Day celebration. We have four episodes across the board uh, sampling the best of Irish music from traditional to rock to ballads, everything. I um, hope you enjoy it. If you have any suggestions on songs that could feature in the, in the, in the near future in regards to Irish songs, please let me know. Uh, so I'm going to sign off on this one. And stay tuned for volume two, which is coming up very short, very shortly. Thanks, bye.